back to Knit Chat. In this episode, the ever-talented Vicki Ellis returns to show us her easy method for creating a continuous strand of twine, or plastic yarn, using a low-temperature iron and parchment paper. You can find parchment in the baking aisle of most grocery stores. Be sure to use parchment and not wax paper for this project. Folding the paper, insert the ends of your plarm strips in between the fold to iron on low heat. This way, you can create a large ball of plarn for your knit and crochet projects. Be sure to watch episode three of Knit Chat to learn how to create plarn from plastic grocery bags. Okay, so I got my iron turned up a little bit because apparently it was a little low. And so now we're gonna try it again. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in a few seconds. And this time I think it took. So you see, it's, it's, oh yeah. Yeah, right there is where the iron didn't touch, but, but it's definitely fused. I can pull on that, that and it's fused. still connected. But I, di I didn't burn like any holes through it. If you hold it too long, well, you know, there might be a couple of small holes, I can't tell. If you hold it too long, you start to see holes appear and, you know, where it bubbles. And, and so then, you know, you need to turn your iron down a little bit. Um, so you really just have to keep experimenting until you find a level and, or however long you want to have to hold it. But that's basically how it works. And then, you know, now I can just keep winding and, and uh, what I do is when I'm, when I'm doing this, I'll cut one, fuse it, wind, and then I'll cut the next bag. And so I just keep doing this until I have a, you know, a decent sized ball with you know, and I, and I like to change colors sometimes. Yeah. It just makes it, you know, like a self-striping type thing. Um, so you can play with that too. But, but it just makes it kind of fun to work with. And now, when I go to crochet this, I don't have to stop and connect the whole, the, the bag or anything. And I don't have any, like, uh, any place where it's bunched up from many knots or anything. It's just, it's a little thicker where you fuse them. But that's fine. That works just fine. That's awesome, Vicki. Thanks so much for showing us this method. Um, it, just one question: How many how many bags do you think you're you're using to create, say, a, a bath mat sized piece? Oh goodness. Um, well, I, I mentioned last time a big bag that I'd made, and it was pretty big. And it was I used sixty six bags for that. Okay. And if you unfold that bag, it's probably about the size of a bath mat. So, so 60, 70 maybe. Then, well, that wouldn't take too long with this method for fusing the yarns. Right. I can usually, with the, with the cutting and the fusing, I do them at the same time. I can usually do about 30 bags in the space of time that I'm watching a movie. So that gives you an idea. <laughs> Perfect. It might be easier to focus on this than counting my rows when I'm watching a movie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming back to Knit Chat, Vicki, and, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.